Hello community, so great that you are back. Yes, OpenAI just released here the agent builder and chat kit here. So this is my very first day and I thought, hey, why not explore the logic of GPT-5 Pro with this agent builder on the ecosystem in the USA? Yes, of course, we are here in Discovery AI, but I make here a break from my regular schedule of my videos because I just want to understand what is this new agent builder by OpenAI. Now, I found it here really interesting. OpenAI, a simple video here. You have five minutes to explain everything you have, you have to know about Agent Builder. They tell you you have templates, you have different notes. And as you already see, you have tool notes and you have logic notes. Now, tool notes currently are file search, guardrails, and MCP. And the logic notes, you have different conditions from if, else, or while. And you even have human approval. And wow, this is amazing. And from the notes, you have more or less just a start, an end, an agent, and a descriptive note. So rather a limited collection at the start, but yeah, it's just the beginning. And if you look here at this video, I found it really interesting. You have a note, you have an if else classification, and if condition one, you have an agent, and if you also generate another agent with, I don't know, GPT 4.1 or GPT 4.5 or whatever you have. And then you just describe like here in the iterative agent, you give it a name, you give it an instruction, hey, you say, you are a great itinerary agent and you have the following task, you use here the model GPT-5 low, the reasoning effort, you can have here a guidance for the reasoning effort, tool use, output format, real nice. Of course, if you go here for the other one, you have here, let's say, uh, what should I do now in a day in Tokyo? Now you start, this is your input, and you have a classifier agent. This LLM, this agent just says, hey, is this, what should I do in Tokyo, a task for the flight agent, or is it a task for the itinerary agent? And guess what? It will be a task for the itinerary agent. So it connects over there and tells you, hey, in the morning. So GPT-5 tells you what to do in Tokyo. So you have a very simple visual canvas where you can build here your workflow. Great. Of course, if you have the other one, you say, hey, I want to fly from San Francisco to an airport somewhere. In Southeast Asia, great, then it files here exactly and you have maybe a connectivity here to the internet or your preferred uh, flight agency. You got it. This is it. Now, if you have defined your workflow and you have a workflow ID given, you have two options. Now, you can either go with JetKit, this is new, the agent SDK, and let's go with JetKit here. And if you go there, you have here more or less options, playground, and this is where I'm going to have my video today. Then you have widgets build it. This is really interesting. Jet killed the world, the demo I found not so interesting, but okay, beautiful. But it is a rather simple approach here to multi-agent system. Né? So I was playing around here in the playground day one, so I cannot give you any advice. I have just started to play with this. In the playground, you just pick here a classical model. I went here with GPT-5 Pro, and then I started here to analyze this, you know, and I have a task, I'm thinking about relocating to the USA. And I thought, which region is comparable to my beautiful country here in Austria? In a sense, I want to have an unpolluted, clean, fresh air to breathe. The Austrian mountain here is beautiful, fresh water here right from the spring here. And I don't want water from a ground well somewhere here in an industrial area. I want to have access to local bioproducts that I want to eat, fresh vegetables and so. So I said, hey, you know what? I build a multi-agent system. So maybe in a later video, I'm going to show you the implementation of this. But just here as a draft, what I want to achieve. One, I need one agent to focus on air quality, one agent to focus on the water quality, one agent to focus on access here to bioproducts, one agent, and this is now nice, we have OpenEI to connect to other apps let's say for housing, for prices, for location, for renting, whatsoever, we have now also this opportunity. And yes, I was in the morning a little bit ironic and I said, hey, great, <laughs> now we have a new vampire app because now ChatGPT can connect itself to all other apps. So we don't need any other apps except ChatGPT. So a perfect monopoly here on a proprietary platform with proprietary agents for proprietary language models. Great. There's a beautiful documentation here, Agent and Agent Builder. If you have a look at this, and I have decided I go for this. But you know, and then I said, but wait, the core of every agent is, of course, the LLM, GPT-5 Pro. So what does GPT-5 Pro think? Before I build now this, this building process will be a later video, what is 
the core understanding of GPT-5 Pro, should somebody move to the US or not? So let's explore this in a very simple way. So don't expect here this multi-agent to bring you complete new solutions. Those are the solutions that are inherent to your GPT system. So if we continue to go back to coal and drill and drill, what would happen? There are no true alternatives that allow for a healthy, livable ecosystem on this planet as we know today. So therefore, a scientific and logical structure summary of what happens if we continue with this. We will have a collapse of the physical and biological system. The climate will improve. Air and water increase in air and water pollution, increasing causing respiratory disease, cancer, poison, aquifers. No human technology or intervention can fully replace natural ecosystem services. Solar remediation, carbon capturing, yeah, we can try to compensate, but it's not really there. No? Doomed, selective, or high-tech. Very wealthy populations might attempt to create isolated cities with advanced filtration, food synthesis, imported water, and the other one will suffer. Yeah, we can go to moon or Mars. Beautiful. I know, I know a billionaire who wants to go to Mars. Bottom line. Without systemic action, no viable large-scale alternative exists for a livable ecosystem on Earth. Technology can help but cannot replace the function of a stable, naturally generated biosphere for 8 billion people. There's no planet B. Every action to avoid this catastrophic scenario. Okay, so what do we do now? We say, hey, outline the near future under such a collapse. <laughs> what happens to me if I move to the US? Tell me. <laughs> now I want to know. Air pollution, chronic smog in cities in downwind in industrial agricultural cities, regular air apocalypse. Wow, great. Force people indoors so to wear masks daily, respiratory illness, asthma, heart disease, water scarcity, water contamination, rural marginal urban areas may lose piped water, extreme deadly heat waves, wildfires, my goodness, crop decline, unpredictable, food prices surge, fish stocks collapse, protein sources shrink, job and migration, climate poverty. Infrastructure and in daily life, rising conflict over resources, water wars, local gated protection versus outside desperation. Social trust is eroded. Children and elderly stay indoors for long periods. Climate anxiety and eco grief becomes persuasive. Nature's collapse. My goodness, what is this for an AI system? Where where have I landed? Come on. Gee, open your eye. You're really dark today. Futuristic exploration, coastal mega cities, the southwest US, and large parts of the tropics may become largely uninhabitable. Life expectancy may stagnate or decrease, especially in poor regions. Chronic disease, unreliable, unsafe food and water security gone, nature degraded. The future is not destiny. Efforts, local, national, global, can still change the outcome, reduce the harm, and restore hope. Now do this for a particular location, the west coast of the USA, because I would like to move over there. No? Sunny California, maybe a little bit up, rainy Washington, let's have a look. So here's the outlook for the life at the west coast of the USA according to GPT-5 Pro. If environmental protection has failed, fossil fuels use increase in ecosystem decline. Here we go. Fires become large, last longer, the fire season continues. Hazardous air dominates for weeks. Mega droughts, extended droughts driven by warming reduced snowpacks. Reservoir and groundwater drop to record lows. Rivers may dry, may run dry. Water contamination, wildfire ash, industrial, agricultural, urban heat islands intensify. Power blackouts, heat dome like 2021, deadly floods and mudslides. Central Valley crops lost to drought, heat, water curtailments and worsening pests. Wow, homeowners in fire flood zones cannot get insurance. Real estate collapse in high risk areas. Wealthy, unisolated communities buffer themselves with private water, private power. Climate refugees arrive more heavily impacted. The daily life, children spend weeks inside each summer due to poor air. Disaster, fatigue, eco-anxiety, loss of social cohesion as disaster recovery never seems to catch up. Forests and wildfires, sea level rise, low-lying coastal neighborhoods San Francisco and critical infrastructure flooded. Local governments prioritize Basic resilience, social divides, widens. My goodness, this is totally dark. GPT-5, what happened to you? 
This is not Mad Max, but it's a world with the most frequent emergency, less security and lost opportunities for health, happiness and prosperity. Wow. Welcome to Chat Kit by OpenAI. <laughs>